Hi everyone, I'm Liz from Collective, and today we're going to talk about how to integrate Power BI and Power Apps in seven steps. So integrating Power Apps into Power BI is a great way to make your data more accessible, because this way users can both enter and interact with data as well as view it in Power BI's report format. So this demo today is set up around a transparency survey. So let's say a company has a meeting where they pass out a survey that needs to be entered into Power Apps and then viewed in Power BI. A great way to do that is to have your entry Power App form directly in your Power BI report, so that way the user who's entering the data can easily see it updated in real time. So here is what our report looks like in the end. So over here is our Power App. This is where all of the survey forms are stored. And then over here we have a couple of visuals. And if we wanted to see the individual survey forms associated with, say, this group who disagreed, it'll filter and bring up only those. We can also create a new survey. So let's just enter in a new one real quick. Successfully submitted. And then if we refresh our visuals, you'll be able to see it reflected. There's another one in the agree column. Okay, so now let's integrate our Power App into this Power BI report. So the first step is to go over to your visuals plane and select the Power Apps for Power BI visual. So let's put that in there. And then step two is to select a field from our data source. So this is the Dataverse table that's from uh, the report we just looked at. So the index number, I'm gonna pull that into this data well. Step three is to click choose an app. And I have a fairly basic demo app to use for this one. So I'm gonna click add and you can skip these pop-ups. And there we go. So now our app has been added into this report. Step four is going to be to publish this report to Power BI service. So I'm gonna click on publish and we can save the changes and I'm just gonna use my workspace for now. All right, so let's open this. So here's our report published into Power BI service. And you'll notice that our app doesn't really respond to it yet. So I can click on these segments, but no real filtering is happening over here. So step five will be to integrate our Power App and our Power BI dashboard. So to do that, we're gonna go up here and click on edit. And now we're gonna click on these three dots above the Power Apps visual. And we're gonna click on edit again. And now this is actually going to open up a new Power Apps tab. So here we've opened the Power Apps Canvas app editing screen. And you can see over here, there's a new section called Power BI integration. And what this can do is this can receive information from your Power BI report, such as slicers or different segments that you click on in other visuals and pass them through to Power Apps. Step six, we're going to set up filtering in Power Apps. So let's select our gallery. We're gonna write out a quick filter statement. So filter um, our Power BI integration demos data. We're gonna filter it on the index number. And that index number is gonna come from our Power BI report. So we're gonna say in Power BI integration dot data dot index number. And now you won't notice anything changing here, but that's because we aren't currently interacting with our Power BI report. So step seven, we're going to save and publish our Power App. And then we can close this tab and also go back to your Power BI report and save it and close that as well. And then come back into that Power BI report. And then you'll see now we can filter our Power App based on whatever we click on in Power BI. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any kind of comment, we'd love to hear from you. Any questions, any feedback, please leave that in the comments below. And visit gocollective.com for any help you might need with Power Apps or Power BI.